and welcome to Utah Crossbow Hunter and today's show we're going to find out what plastic bags cardboard boxes and duct tape all have in common stand by we'll find out Hi, and welcome to Utah Crossbow Hunter. And today, like I said, we're going to find out what plastic bags, duct tape, and cardboard boxes all have in common. So, what do they have in common? Well, uh, three things that are going to be into one. So, I've already kind of started here. So, I have this box it's not quite full of plastic bags so what I do is I wad up these plastic bags okay and I put them in the box and what I try and do is try to get the box as full as I can I stuff that box and I stuff it so hard that when I close my lid on here that it's really hard to press down okay so you see I've kind of already got this one started um, and this is what I'm going to be using for my broadheads okay so I got this one here and then I got two more that I've already done but I've done them differently I've used I got one box that I have uh, four pillowcase covers or pillow pillow inserts the, the whatever you call them or in this box and another box I have five so I'm gonna be trying different stings for my broadheads all right because uh, you obviously don't want to shoot broadheads into a um, uh, uh, what, what am I talking about hurricane I don't want to shoot my broadheads in there because uh, I'm afraid of getting getting stuck or damaging them uh, so that's why I'm making these I guess you call them TDY or TY, TIA, T, or the do it yourself, uh, DIY, or whatever. So, what I do, once I get this, the box stuffed, and I take my duct tape and I cover one in. off got another one run across the top and I want these really I guess you could say call them tight okay because uh, I I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep reusing these just by putting more duct tape on until a certain spot gets really worn out and I can't do it no more uh, so how many sides do I have? I have a lot of sides. So, and then, as I get done with this here, okay. So once I get my ends done. Now, then I'll just start here, where I got this done. You might see me wandering off, looking at where my kids are doing. They're outside here playing. It's a nice, another beautiful Utah day. Okay, so I got that one done. And I just keep going around around and that's how I do that so once I get done with this I will have I hope a nice good stoppable target but I won't put these single I will I'll double stack them uh, just in case one decides to go through 
it'll go into the other box. Um, because all they're going to be doing is a, doing a little bit of target practice with them. Uh, make sure they're all good before I take them out and steal them to do hunting with. Oh, I'm messing this one up. Eh, it's okay. It uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as you got it. Oh, okay. Oh, that box must take off on me. All right. Okay. It's easier to do this inside the house. We have more room to work with, but. You can do it outside, inside, whatever you want to do it at. Oh, I cut that one a bit short. That's okay. You're okay. Just put it back on. And the daughter lost her shoe. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it's easier to sit and do this on the ground than it is in a chair. Okay. So. That all covered up. Okay. So. There you go. There's a do-it-yourself target. So. Um, you can put a piece of tape on here, mark it your X, or um, use a uh, Sharpie or whatever to make your target there. So, all right, so we'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so back with some final thoughts on that. Well, we'll find out how that works. Uh, that'll be another episode when I do my... Uh, broadhead testing with the uh, um, the speed the kinetic energy stuff so um, we'll find out how they work then so until then have a wonderful day enjoy your family keep your family safe and most of all get out there and hunt <laughs>